uh, the P50, P90 analysis capability. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use uh, the uh, PV watts case because it runs fast. Um, so PV, PV watts, and I'll do a residential system just for fun. Okay, so let's run this system for this. It's a four kilowatt system. I'm just going to go with the default values, but I'm going to run it for Portland, Oregon, which is where I live. Um, so on the climate page, I'll choose Portland, um, and I'm going to use the TMY2 weather file for this. Um, I could I could choose download a TMY3 file for Portland if I wanted. Um, or um, if I had some other source of weather data, I could use that. But I'm just going to use the TMY2 file for this demo. Um, run the simulation. And so Sam is saying that my 4 kilowatt system in Portland generates uh, 4,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. So this is based on the typical meteorological year data um, for Portland. Um, and, and so this is a, a, the TMY, or Typical Meteorological Year Data, file is a single file that represents the solar resource over a multi-year period. So um, NREL developed the TMY2 files by looking at, uh, for each location, looking at a set of weather files from uh, 1960 to 1991, I think. It was a 30-year period. And to create its typical year file, uh, the analysts looked, for example, for January, they would look, they looked at, uh, the January solar resource for each of the 30 years, and then picked a year that most represented, uh, the Januaries over the multi-year period. So maybe the typical year file might use, uh, the January data for 1988. Um, if 1988 was the most typical January over the period. And then for March, they repeat the process, and maybe March data from uh, 1978 was typical. So the typical, if you look at the typical year file data, you'll see that the, the data for each month comes from a different year. So they constructed a, a single file that takes data from different uh, years in the database to create this file that, that represents basically the average or typical resource over the multi-year period. So that that approach has been, you know, uh, is is a, a reasonable one uh, for modeling PV systems um, to get a sense of the resource over a long term. What the P50 P90 analysis capability in SAM does is rather than modeling uh, the system using this one weather file, we're going to actually run, we're going to simulate the system using a weather file for multiple years. Um, so to get to P50, P90, you click the Configure Simulations button, which is the one right next to the Run button. Um, let me make this page a little bigger. Um, and then click P50, P90 here. And um, when you first install SAM, you get a few a few samples of, of weather uh, file sets for a few locations. Um, if you want to get the complete database, it's a one gigabyte uh, file, so you can download that. We didn't include it in, in the installation just to keep the size of the installation file smaller. Um, uh, so to get the, the complete list of available data, Download the, the database here, and then, um, which I've already done. So I'm going to uh, do a P50, P90 analysis for Portland. I've got a few locations in Portland. I'm just going to use the airport. I think that's what my TMY2 data is based on. Um, so for comparison, I'll choose the airport. Make sure to check the Enable button, and then click Run. And now, Sam, is, there are 45 years of data 
in this NCDC, the National Climatic Data Center database, uh, provided us with 45 years of data. So Sam is running 45 uh, sets of simulations. Um, and then I'm going uh, to be able to look at um, the annual output uh, for each of those 45 years and some statistical summaries of that output. So here's our results. Here's our um, uh, typical year output that we ran before. It's 4,000 kilowatt hours. And then the P90 um, net annual energy turns out to be 3,700 kilowatt hours. So that this means that uh, over the for the 45 years of weather data that Sam simulated, uh, the net annual energy was over 3,700 kilowatt hours 90% uh, of the time. Um, we can look at we can look at some graphs to kind of illustrate what's going on here. Um, this annual energy graph, this shows me the annual energy output for each of the 45 years. So you can see how much it varied. Um, the sorted annual energy value, so this is the same graph, but it's just organized in order of increasing annual output. Um, so this is sequential. And this is in order of increasing output. We can look at a histogram. Um, so this shows us that um, that the output over that 45-year period, the output was between 4,000 and 4,200 um, kilowatt hours, about 14% of the time. Um, and then we have. Uh, the P50, P90 graph shows us the minimum value, which is 3,500. The maximum value was a little over 4,500. And then we have P90, P50, and P10. So we know that, that over that uh, period of years, the annual output um, was 3,700 kilowatt hours, or grade E, 90% of the time, and it was um, 4,400, or over 10% uh, of the time. And this is the P50 value, which we can see is about 44,000 uh, kilowatt hours. So the P50 number is actually pretty close to the TMY number. And and uh, it also Sam also reports um, the LCOE numbers uh, over the 45-year period. Um, okay, so that's the P50 